Hi guys. Got a couple of subjects for this vlog actually. Um, but what I'll get over and done with first is I has a bike. It's a giant and it's an what did it say on the frame? An XT XTC? Did it say XTC? Yeah, XTC-4 Off-Road Series. And it's even still even got the barcode stuck on it. Anyway, it came with the wrong derailleur fitted to the rear. It's supposed to have an aluminium hanger and it hasn't got one. Um, it is front and rear disc brake. And it came with a pair of um, pro disc wheel rims. And we've got, I can't remember the tyres, Maxim, Maximus tyres, I think it's said on them, CST it's got written up there, trademark, MTB, traction, all season compound, Maxis, that's the word, and they're Maxis tyres, um, with Quando wheel hubs, free wheel, which is... Oh, that's actually got that's got slick written on there. Slick something system shift system by DMP, I think that says. That's gonna be changed anyway. Now I was if I had a hanger, I was gonna do it up for myself, which I might actually still end up doing it up for myself. Um but because I'm not the sort that wants to waste anything and this frame is in still pretty good nick I'm going to do what I did to the um, red and white viking I'm going to single speed convert this now I'm sort of wishing I did this to older bikes that had the broken hanger but uh, never mind I sold the frames actually the last ones um, but I've been looking on eBay. The um, cassette conversion kit to convert a free hub to single speed instead of a eight speed cassette or seven speed cassette. They're yeah, pretty cheap. And so are the single speed free wheels for BMX bikes. Which I have there. Now if it weren't for the fact I'm going to clean this one up and try and sell it as it is then I'd have nicked it off that wheel and put it on one of those <laughs> and I could have had another single speed bike um, but what I'm going to do I'm actually going to clean this one up and uh, I'm going to give it a month on eBay because my month limit is nearly up and that will reset so I'm going to give this a month on eBay and if it doesn't sell then I'll just take the wheels off and the chain off and dump the rest probably um, that's what I'm going to do for, well, if I see any decent child's bikes. Oh, no, you don't, because I'm coming back to that. Then I may grab them, like the white and, or the blue and white one I've got in the bedroom. Then I may grab them. Anyway, what I'm going to do with this, my Claude Butler, my grey one, that I built up last year, uh... I've been wanting some better forks for it. I'm getting a bit of a click, click stroke clunk coming from the headset. Um, and I wanted one with a longer steerer tube anyway, so I'm going to swap them, hopefully tomorrow. I'll swap the forks out. And I'm going to hopefully swap the wheels out, because this is actually a matching pair. The ones I've got on the clawed aren't. And these wheels are actually look in slightly better condition. And better tyres, so... And I'm pretty certain I put an 8-speed free wheel on the Claude Butler. Not cassette, so I'll swap those straight over as well. And the wheels will just drop straight into the Claude, really. I shouldn't have to um, do anything else. The trickiest part is the um, forks. And I may pinch... Whoops, what did I stand on? The BMX... I may pinch the um, handlebar stem as well because I like that one. <laughs> but yeah, 
Then I'll put the old forks, because there's nothing wrong with them, I just don't want them on the cord. I'll put those in here, put the old wheels in here, but with a single speed on, and just convert this to single speed with disc brakes, just to be different. <laughs> That's the plan, because I don't want to waste it. I think that frame, it's dirty, it needs a good clean. You know, the colour of it is showing up the dirt, which isn't helping. <laughs> sort of a cream colour um, but the bottom bracket is good so I mean I could leave the brakes exactly as they are and just find a pair of um, grips to go on them so many options so I may change the crank because that is a good crank that I could save for a decent mountain bike apart from the broken chain guard which I can replace uh, but apart from that, I can leave the rest of it as it is. Can't I, Mr. Nemo? <laughs> anyway, the other thing I want to talk about, which is something I saw on ugh, Facebook, is this video here that a friend of mine shared. Now, he's put more peaceful defenseless refugees at Calais. And in the quote below it, it actually says three Muslim migrants smash a truck driver's window and attempt to steal his truck. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the video and I'll explain afterwards why I think this isn't true and why I think this is just clickbait and deliberately stirring up hatred for gullible people. <laughs> and uh of course, in the comments, you can feel free to leave your opinions. Politie is onderweg! Politie is onderweg! Oh jongens! Oh jongens! Die is tegen de auto aan het schoppen! Wat zijn die maar? Nee, lukt niet, lukt niet. Ze hebben me geblokkeerd. Het zijn dus wel moslimachtige mensen. Psycho's worden gemold. Ik veel hem anders op dit moment. Nou, I could actually list many points that indicate one these three men are not Muslim. Two, it's not in Calais. And I've just lost the third one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, we'll start with the smashed window. Yes, the window got smashed. But, if you look at the um, demeanour of the men that approach the driver's side, they look very, very angry, agitated, pissed off with the truck driver. In fact, the truck driver actually sounds like he was on a phone to, I don't know, the police or something. Maybe, I don't know. I also clearly heard this guy here say at least twice in English, for some reason, What's your problem? He says it clearly twice which also indicates this is more of a road rage incident. If you watch this guy, after he says his bit to the lorry driver, which you can see now, he's waving his finger, if you watch him, he actually pulls this guy and the other guy with the beard away from the truck. And in fact, when the guy with the beard attacks the um, passenger side mirror, this guy slaps him across the head. <clears throat> also indicating a road rage incident in fact he, there's a number of times he tries to pull both guys away from the truck and they walk towards the um, minivan that's parked in front so I'm fairly certain this is actually a road rage incident in a European country it's, the lorry driver sounds German could be German, it could be Polish, 
or I guess it could even be Dutch. I'm not sure. But that's definitely, and to be honest, he doesn't even look Muslim to me. They look more European. To me, they may not be, but that's just what it looks like to me. To me, to me, to me, to me, to me. Lots of to me there. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah. Everything about it to me actually says completely the opposite to what's being claimed. Um. I'm pretty certain they're not at Calais. For the simple reason, if they were, that whole road would be full of migrants trying to mi migrants, migrants rather, trying to enter other vehicles. And if this was a Calais port, there wouldn't be mixed vehicles in the queue of traffic, because they put the lorries together. There would be a queue of lorries, a queue of rigs big rigs, 18 wheelers, whatever you want to call them, semis. I annoy my mum, I, I, there, I'll try again. I annoy my mum like that because I do pronounce things in a, the American way. Just to wind her up. <laughs> um, anyway, let me know your opinions on that. Am I right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you, you know? I'm actually um, going to delete a couple of the comments I made because I want to rewrite them. What does it smell like friggin' boiled egg? I haven't got any eggs. <laughs> but, yeah, it smells like egg. Oh, actually, it could be bread. I don't think my friend's even seen these yet. He's probably not even online. It was five hours ago he posted it. Anyway. My cat's deciding to be a pain in the ass again. Yeah. I'm going to shut the camera down because I'm going to reply to my friend here. Um, and try not to sa make myself sound like him. I'm freaking hard to hear what that was. He's just thrown at me. Would you just knock off? I can't even find it. Well, oh! That's all right. Just a plug for the um, battery charger. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to turn the camera off for a bit while I write a reply out to my friend. Making my points, pretty much, you know. If he still wants to believe that's what it is, then that's up to him. I just think he's a bit dumb for doing so, but <laughs> we're all entitled to believe what we want to believe, so I'll be back in a little while. Okay, reply made. And no, I wasn't an asshole over it. <laughs> well, I tried my best not to be. Sometimes I come across as an asshole, but I don't intend to be. Trust me, you soon know if I intend to be, because I'll tell you. <laughs> That's the bottom line. If I'm intending to be an asshole, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, just waiting for a reply now. Oh yeah, this is in town as well. I'll just click on it and enlarge the photo. This is actually just across the road from me. This is on the car park where the town's library is. Which, uh, literally, if you go out the front of our building, because the front door's down there, go left to the road, left again about... 40 yards, if that, maybe less, you're there. <laughs> or in my case, I just cut across where the barns are over the, at the end here and cut through there. But yeah, this is all allegedly clothes for the clothes bank. Um, I'm not sure if the clothes bin is full. Normally when it's full, you'll see things hanging out of the hatch there, but for some reason, someone, some people have been dumping them in a big pile there. Um, and somewhat the person, or the lady who took the photo, has actually said she thinks there's at least one black sack there full of household rubbish. 
that someone's tipped on there. I can't see it, but she said she thinks, so it may not be. It might be something else. I don't blame her for not wanting to investigate. I don't think I would either. But um, apparently it's been like this for weeks, and that's actually quite an eyesore. And uh, when you're trying to uh, regenerate a town, that doesn't help. <laughs> you know, it's not going to look good for visitors. Um, but yeah... I'm not actually sure that Clarence Bank is full, so I'm not sure why they're... All that lot's piled up there. Um, but apparently quite a few people have actually reported it to the um, NNDC. Because the bin itself does belong to North Norfolk District Council. Or North Norfolk District Tosspots, if I had my way. You could call them what I want, because they're not my most favourite group of people. They couldn't organise a piss-up in a brewery. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one in Norfolk that thinks that. <laughs> they are bloody useless at NNDC. You'd make a claim for um, housing benefit, right? And they would lose your application, or lose a piece of information that you sent to them with your application. Ugh. The number of times my mum has claimed, you know, when they hit hard times, and when through the various private landlords they've had, and it was such an arsehole trying to claim it with them, where they are now, they're under a different council, they're under Broadland, and within a month, maybe a little bit longer, the whole housing benefit application was sorted. It can take two or three months with NNDC. I swear to God, I don't know what the hell they do at that office. If I can have a... I don't know. I was going to say a marijuana party, but I think a bunch of potheads running that NNDC could do a better job. I'd probably trust them more as well, actually. <coughs> yeah, I've got a shirt on because I was getting a bit hot and uncomfortable earlier because I've got all the windows shut. Because it's a bit windy. And it gets a bit breezy up here when it's a little bit windy. <laughs> so I tend to keep the windows closed. I think I might go back and play a bit of GTA, then I'm going to head to bed, I think. I'm starting to feel tired, anyway. Mum's coming up town tomorrow. Because uh, I'll take the car for an MOT, so I said, well, if she stops by here and pick us up first, I can walk back to town with her, because where she's taken it, it's got to go to a company, or a business, or whatever you want to call it, called Mark One, which is... I think it's primarily a tyre and exhaust centre. And they do batteries and your safety checks and MOTs and whatnot as well. Um, but that's on the industrial estate, so she doesn't really want to sit around there and wait. So she's going to wander back to town and we'll probably have a wander around the market and the charity shops and whatnot and then go back and get the car. Then I've got a guy coming to look at the Saracen between... I think he said four and five o'clock. Might be good if he buys that. I can put a bit of money in the pocket. Which I'll probably go spend on a Lego set of some sort. Not the 17.99 one though. Well actually it depends if he gives me full price or knocks me. If he knocks me then it definitely won't be. But uh, sometimes they will, when people do come and look, they do actually give me full price. But uh... I've always priced it so I'm in a way so I don't lose too much if they do knock me. You know, the bare minimum. And anyway, no, I'll finish off what I was going to say first. The bare minimum would be about 25 quid that I'll take, which is currently an offer I've got waiting for me to review on eBay. And I say waiting because. I haven't accepted it or declined it yet because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> so I've just left it. I know I think you have about 48 hours.
to respond to an offer. But anyway, I can't remember if I said when I was talking about the bikes earlier. That BMX, I'm going to sort out. Um, it just needs a back a tube in the back wheel. Uh, I'll give it a clean up be as best I can. Might just um, I've got some black paint, so I may just go over the handlebars with some black paint, just to tidy it up a bit and make it, well make it look as tidy as possible. Possibly the um, chain ring at the front here as well. It's just a box standard BMX, nothing special. Barracuda Mojo. Gyro brakes. Yes, yeah, definitely not stunt BMX because that frame was far too long and far too heavy. I'd actually, I swear, that thing is heavier than this. That is a pretty light frame. That's why I'm going to go um, single speed on that one because I think it's just a waste of frame if I just scrapped it anyway. That I will give the full 30 days a month. Um, on eBay because my limits get refreshed at the end of each month or beginning of each month so 1st of February I'll have um, my full limits again so I'll stick that on and if it doesn't sell by the end of the 30 days I'll just take the wheels off because <laughs> I actually have a use for them I could pinch a single speed freewheel to use on this project although I do have another wheel sitting at mum's that I could pinch it from because I was going to make a um, shopper bike part BMX bike because <laughs> I've got an old one that Biggles gave me over at mum's and I'll put a single, or a single speed wheel in it BMX wheel not as nice as these ones. These ones are actually a lot nicer compared to the one I stuck in that shop. But just to make it rideable, because all he wanted was the back wheel for the three-speed hub, so I just turned it into a single-speed shop. But uh, now I've got these. If I can't shift it, like I said, in the um, 30 days, then I will just take the wheels off and throw them in the shopper, hopefully. <laughs> and perhaps some stump pegs on it as well, just for the sheer hell of it. <laughs> and have a, um, a funny looking BMX the only problem is I don't have any black spray it's in a tin so I'd have to brush it on but I suppose for a kid's bike that's going to get beaten up anyway I don't suppose it would matter too much as long as it looks tidy I mean it's actually hammer right so it wouldn't you know chip that easy I don't know. I could just leave it as it is. It's still worth a tenner as it is, I suppose. That's all I'm going to ask for. It. No best offer, just a tenner. I don't know. Maybe if I show it to a lad on my Facebook, he might buy it for a tenner. Or even swap it. Because I know what he's like. <laughs> I'm always up for a trade. It doesn't bother me. No, I traded my um, rally winner road bike for a mountain bike. Some people might think I was stupid because I traded a, f good w a fully working good mountain bike for a road bike that wasn't working. I needed a fair bit of work, but I know I can do the work myself, so that didn't bother me. Um... Obviously, if I couldn't work on a bike myself, then I wouldn't have swapped for something like that. But uh, I do like um, I do like uh, doing the work myself. It's got a nice set of pedals on this. I may nick those for my Claude as well. There may not actually be much left of this giant by the time I'm done. <laughs> it was definitely worth the fiver just for the parts. Even if I did scrap the frame, the seat not the best, but not the worst. It's still usable. Decent seat post, decent seat post clamp. 
good pair of brake cables, good pair of brake levers, handlebar, stem, forks, cranks, bottom bracket. That's still bloody good. Well, the plastic chain guard on that crank has um, broke, but I could always replace that. I think I've got one kicking around that'll fit. If you're wondering why that's wobbling like that, it's because the um, headset has got some play in it. Oh yeah, and I forgot the brake calibers because it's disc brake. But uh, yeah, I think what I will do tomorrow is exactly what I said. If not Friday, I may not get time to do it tomorrow. Not with mum being up town for the best part of the day, most likely, and uh, having that bloke come up to have a look at the boat. Hopefully, if he turns up, you never know. He might not. <laughs> That's the other reason I'm keeping that sort of offer on the back burner for now. As a I've then got a plan B to go to if plan A fails. <laughs> that has struck up a bit of interest. Uh, I do like those paddles. Seriously, may end up changing those as well on my claw. It doesn't matter because I'll soon put this one back together, so. Well, if it took me an hour to put the um, red and white one together as a single speed, it's not going to take me long with this one. If I leave the brake cables and levers exactly as they are, then all I'd have to do if I swap the wheels is put the wheels from the clawed in this with a single speed on the back wheel. And I've got a chain here already on it that I could shorten if I have to. I probably will have to, but, you know... That'd be a good job. Can't adjust the wheel because I can't pull it back because it's just got the preset dropouts, which I actually I personally prefer these dropouts. I don't like the ones where they slide in at an angle and you've got to mess around getting the wheel nice and straight and then try and hold the wheel straight while you do up the wheel nuts. The wheel nuts want to be a pain in the ass and that'll cause the wheel to slip. And you, yeah, there's the bigger pain in the ass. I prefer dropouts like those ones where you just drop the wheel in and you're done. <laughs> Simple. Hoo hum. <laughs> oh, shite. I mustn't forget I've got some cat sick in the bedroom to clear up before I go to bed. I don't want to wake up during the night and go standing in it. I got to do it before I left this morning for my appointment. Mind you, at least now it's not going to be sloppy, it'll be dry. And I've got some sponges so I can soon clean it up, it's not an issue. It's not an issue. Is that dirt? Yeah, with a bit of scrubbing with a green scar or something. I don't want to use anything too rough because I'll scratch the paintwork. That should uh, come up. I could even tea cut it actually. I'll bring the paintwork up. Yeah, why didn't I think of that before? I've got tea cut somewhere. And if I haven't, I know exactly where I can get some. Actually, yeah, I did have some tea cut somewhere. What the hell did I do with it? I'm sure I kept some. So I could tea cut the um, red and white one. That would clean that frame up a bit better. Yeah, what did I think of that before? Like I said, if I haven't got any here, I know exactly where there's going to be a bottle. Well, I shouldn't think that would cost a lot to get a bottle either. But uh, I think keeping a bottle around might be a good idea, because uh, I can always tea cut it. That's what it's designed for. <laughs> Don't I don't think it's in the cupboard up here. I'm pretty certain I haven't got it in here. If it's gonna be anyway, it'll be on the shelf in the shed downstairs. No, it's not up here. Right. You can see some things lit up. 
Yes, not in there. I didn't think it would be. If it's going to be anywhere, that'll be down in the shed on the shelf. The shed on the shelf. that alarm on that bus out back has stopped. There's one bus that parks on the bus park or depot, whatever you want to call it, out back there. And a poxy alarm every now and again likes to go off randomly. And it could be one o'clock in the morning, it could be seven o'clock in the evening, it's just purely at random. And it just, it'll sound and then it'll stop and then a couple of seconds later it'll sound again and it'll do that half a dozen times and then it will just stop and go silent again. Um, there is a black and white cat that hangs around this area and has done for the six and a half years I've lived in this flat. Um, so I don't know if that's getting on there and uh, triggering the alarm. That's very possible. Fox maybe. I have seen foxes around here. More so during summer, but I have seen foxes around here. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits, because I'm getting tired. I'm going to have a bit of a rampage on GTA, I think, and I'm going to bugger off to bed. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, if you want to. And if you want to see some more weird and possibly not-so-wonderful videos. <laughs> If you've got any comments, and leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.